Now we still look to engage the party involved, including the poor coup leaders. Nigeria is useless. Nigeria is useless. This is a useless country. I know many did not vote for me. Okay. With the recent coups in most West African countries in recent years, it looks like this is the Sahel version of the Arab Spring. In the last three years, there has been seven different coups in Africa, with Niger and Gabon being the most recent ones. And five out of these seven different coups all happened in the West African sub-region. And as you already know, these coups are caused by the negligence and the incompetence of these democratically elected government officials in managing the affairs of these countries, which includes corruption, insecurity, electoral malpractice, and mismanagement of public funds in these respective countries. But then, there is the giant of Africa, the only country suffering from all the mentioned above. The corruption in Nigeria is over the board. I mean, it's safe to say that the common name for all Nigerian politicians is corruption. The incompetence is nothing to write home about. And I'm sure you've also heard the story of insecurity in this country. Electoral malpractice, likewise mismanagement of funds. All this has plagued Africa's most populous and biggest economy in the last decade. And with the wave of the coups in Africa, all eyes are currently now on Nigeria whose president has been at the forefront of sanctioning other ECOWAS member states that the military overthrew the democratically elected president. But the big question is, is Nigeria safe with the wave of military coups in Africa? Well, the answer is simply no. In fact, Nigeria's presidency is in a very fragile position currently, and here is why a military coup is inevitable in Nigeria anytime soon. But before that, if you are new to the channel, please do make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every day. There is a likelihood that a military coup d'etat will happen in Nigeria anytime soon, given the upside down democracy in Nigeria, the compromised nature of Nigeria's judiciary, and Nigerians' lost of hope in democracy. In case you are not in Nigeria, let me give you a sneak peek of Nigeria in the last three months since Nigeria's current president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, became the president. But before that, let me quickly show you how he got into power. The February 25th, 2023 elections was contended by these three, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Atika Abubakar, and Peter Obi. In a normal democratic election, it was supposed to be free and fair, but instead, here is what happened. I dropped a bullet. This is my bullet. Somebody gave all that for them to shoot at us. You know people take this for a year. Go your house. Nobody wants to come here. Go out so. Tinubu Bola Ahmed of the APC, having satisfied the requirements of the law, is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. So now that you've seen a little bit of the election that got him into power, how free and fair it was. You can now see how he is hated by Nigerians. And you might be wondering why Nigerians hate him so much. Well, here is why. In the last three months of him being the president, here is what Nigeria has done to. To start with, on his first day in office, he removed fuel subsidy in Nigeria and the cost of petrol went from 200 naira to as high as 1000 naira and prices of everything went uphill and the cost of living in Nigeria is now triple of what it was three months ago. The US dollars skyrocketed from 750 naira in the parallel market to 1000 naira in just three months. The price of food commodities have skyrocketed to the extent that common citizens could not access three square meals a day, and this has pushed many into crimes for survival. In addition, the data obtained from the Nigerian security tracker revealed that 2,125 people had lost their life under the administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu due to terrorism, banditry, headers and farmers clashes, communal crisis, and extrajudicial killings. 
and no measures has been set up to put a stop to this. Imagine what the numbers will be in a year. Without this, you know already why Nigeria is a dysfunctional society and needs the mercy of the military. And here are the reasons why the military are going to step in soon. Well, first is the possibility of anarchy in Nigeria after the final judgment of the last presidential election result. Nigeria has had 24 years of uninterrupted democratic rule, with one civilian government handing over the political power to another civilian government, peacefully and seamlessly. It's an iconic landmark achievement given to the fact that Nigeria is divided along ethnic and religious lines. The February 25, 2023 election court case, majorly between Pitobi, who is mostly backed by the youth, and President Bola Tinubu, is sitting on a time bomb. So, any missteps taken by the judiciary or President Bola Tinubu can spark off masses revolt in Nigeria. The occurrence of violent protests worse than the answers, which can lead to anarchy in the country, will be an invitation to the military to stage a coup in Nigeria to restore order. Similar to Gabon, electoral manipulation was the major cause of the coup. Secondly is the issue of insecurity in the country. With little salary and weapons, the Nigerian military is languishing daily in the unending war against insurgency in northern Nigeria. If Bola and Tinubu do not do the need for by increasing the salary of the Nigerian armed forces, especially those at the forefront tackling insecurity in Nigeria, a modern weapon, acquired and supplied to them. This is going to lead to mutiny in the armed forces who are going to turn against him, which is exactly the reason for the last two coups in Burkina Faso. In addition, Nigeria's economy is currently distressed with millions of Nigerians reduced to subhumans by biting and grinding in poverty. The desperately poor and deposed Nigerians are disenchanted with the president currently. President Bola Tinubu, who is leading the ECOWAS offensive to restore democratic rule in Niger Republic, should bear in mind the fact that Nigeria is not immune from experiencing another coup. The reason for the military takeovers in Mali, Burkina Faso, Guinea, Niger, and Gabon also exists in Nigeria too. The worst part is that Nigeria's own is even more severe, yet the president is currently pushing the people to the war. So there you have it. Thanks for watching today's Africa. Please do make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every day.